madre. We are on day four of the OpenStack Project Teams gathering, and today I'm speaking with Andy and Lance and they collaborate around some features on the Keystone project. I talked with Andy a couple days ago, and he's a member of the OpenStack Ansible project. If you all can introduce yourselves and tell us what your role is, what organization you work with, what projects you're on. Go uh, ahead. Yeah, so my name is Andy McCray. I work at Rackspace, um, and I work on the OpenStack Ansible uh, project that handles uh, deploying OpenStack. Um, for production, production workloads. My name is Lance. Uh, I work at Wallet. Um, I'm the current Keystone PTL and been working on OpenStack identity since 2013. In this uh, collaboration here, y'all were working on, on what together? One of the big initiatives that we've had over the OpenStack community over the last year or two further is uh, the concept of rolling upgrades, making it easier for operators to roll out the new version while still having some uptime for their customers. Uh, so some projects have kind of come through with a pattern on how to do that. Uh, Keystone took that, ran with it, and we kind of followed the same pattern and changed some of the implementation details on it. So one big step in doing that is making sure that it's tested, right? How do you how do you do that in the gate to make sure that you're not progressing and so on and so forth? Um, and that presented a great problem for us just because uh, the gate is already testing so much stuff every day and it's so constrained for resources and for us to just stand up more and more keystone nodes and say we want to uh, stand up three API servers just to test this rolling upgrade in question that gives us some level of certainty. Um, and that's where we said that's where we comes into play because they were able to do it all in containers on a single node which really helped with convincing the gate to do it because it's all well, right. We're still getting the certainty that we need, but we're not you know, getting all of these resources or requesting a ton of resources from the Yeah, and I think uh, we already had a gate job that ran uh, upgrades, running upgrades for Keystone. Um, so it was pretty much a case of just running the job that we already had just against the Keystone uh, pull requests. Um, and I think that, that one of the best parts about this was that when we went to implement the running upgrade part that Keystone had put in, um, you know, we found found some things that were a little bit difficult from a, a deployment perspective, and we kind of worked with the Keystone team to add in some some functionality around checks that we can do using uh, Keystone commands to to ensure the state of of Keystone itself. I mean, this allows us to make more intelligent decisions uh, when we when we're upgrading or when we're deploying Keystone around what steps we should take uh, without having to to do some some crazy stuff inside Ansible itself. We can just ask Keystone, and it it knows everything about its own state. Um, so it, it, it really was uh, more than just implementing a job we already had. It, it was a kind of collaboration where we could help Keystone um, you know, help us with our use cases and we could, in return, you know, uh, provide a job for Keystone um, that will test their upgrades for them. And on top of that, it tests whether there's any downtime during the upgrade. So we persistently hit the API and, and see how many of those requests were lost uh, during the upgrade. And, and obviously, we're aiming for zero. Um, so yeah. Yeah, and in addition to that, like you guys are deploying customers and using that same process with the customers, but we're also using that when we test it in the gate, which is which is nice. You're testing when you're actually using it out in the real world, which um, sometimes can be harder said than done, but uh, that's also a very important bit too. Yeah, definitely. I think overall the community wins when when the teams kind of work together to to solve the common problems they have. Um, and obviously for us, making our deployments as simple as possible is key, and, and doing upgrades right is, is key, um, and being able to work with uh, you know, other teams like the Keystone team and, and have them be receptive to, to what we're asking for, um, it's, yeah, it's really amazing. So. What's the status of all this stuff in Pike and what still needs to be done? So, as of the last release of Pike, um, we introduced an experimental job uh, that goes through and tests every Keystone patch in a rolling upgrade fashion, uh, which is great. Um, it's not hard loading yet. Uh, there's one specific uh, scenario that we still need to cover. Uh, we're working with the Ansible folks to make sure that that uh, situation is addressed if we were ever to get the gate in that particular uh, scenario. So that's really our last hurdle. 
um, but we have a plan for it moving forward, and uh, we're kind of hoping to make that a gating thing uh, this release. So any patches that come into our migrations and break things, or uh, maybe work in unexpected ways, we're going to detect that before they land. Yeah, from our perspective, it's uh, like Ron said, we just have to handle that that one edge case. Um, and, and once that's ready, we should be good to, to move the job to be a voting job on, on the Keystone 4 request. Otherwise, it's been very stable for us. We haven't had any issues with it so far. Well, thank you very much for coming to talk with me. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.